so welcome Brandon Johnson here 404 smoke shop and your smoke shop masterclass instructor I just wanted to go through 10 crazy cool moments in our first year of business in our first location in Atlanta Georgia now this first clip is really cool because this was our first employee he's my neighbor at the time next door neighbor still a neighbor um, I do forex trading with him uh, now, um, but it, crazy cool. We only had one shelf that spanned all the way around our store, and uh, but we made the best of it, you know. So we all learned how to vape together. We all learned how to do some crazy cool stuff. Look, check this out. So these videos aren't in any kind of order, like one being the best or 10 being the best. It's just 10 clips, you know, crazy and cool and memorable times in the first year. So this next clip is actually of Monty. He was probably one of our first vape customers. You know, when we first opened up, we could only have a, a few mods at the time. And so that was just it. So we just, um, uh, we had very few customers, but this guy came in, he had been a vapor and actually he worked for Mercedes Benz and we were lucky to uh, partner up with him and buy a car from him. Um, and really cool dude. So we put together his mod. This is what happened. <laughs> I seen like I do it. So it's really cool when your family partners up with you to run the smoke shops. Uh, my wife and I actually started the smoke shops, but we we're able to bring in my sons. And so it's really cool for them to be able to kind of see different uh, situations around the smoke shop, learn the business, even work in the business uh, at times. So this next situation was we repurposed a part of the sign that was up on top of the building. So basically I had a sign guy scrape off all the old junk that was off of the other one. And we put 404 Smoke Shop logo on it and we put it in our window and it's still there today. So this was me actually kind of getting the sign back from my sign guy and spending a little quality time with the sons. Just a quick little glimpse. Cover you. Cover you. Again, it's really cool when your family comes through and support you, you know. So this is Big Brother Keith. His wife was on the, the video camera recording and he came through to grab a vape. Uh, as you can see, this was the first store still and you can see the, that one shelf is starting to increase. It's starting to get into more shelves. So basically we had a strategy of just reinvesting our profits and putting it back in. But here we go. Two goofballs learning how to vape. Okay, I'm videotaping. You gotta make circles, Keith. So this next little clip here, I'm just going to bring it in here and I'm just going to talk over it a little bit. Basically, this was our um, attempt at trying to sell a few adult novelty toys. And so the really cool thing is, is that if you and this works for your store or your future store, great. Didn't work for us too well. Uh, basically, what happened is, is number one, you have to have a private area. Women who are interested in this stuff, they don't want to look at it out in the open. So that's number one. Number two is, is if you have it out in the open, you've got to make sure that you have your cities or your municipalities uh, laws in place. OK, so say like, for instance, uh, the code enforcement guy came by and gave us a warning to remove it and or go get an adult novelty license. So that's something you want to think about. Uh, number three is, did I already say this? It didn't really sell. So, you know, smoke shop, they're coming in for hookah supplies and all this cool stuff. Down here in Atlanta, there's a few stores that kind of are successful at selling it all. But hey, we wanted to specialize. So that means smoke shop stuff and differentiating yourself through your unique value proposition. Check out our course for more on unique value propositions. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Right 
So as you can see, customer events are huge and it gains a lot of rapport when you can do a nice event, expose your products to the customers as well as give away food, et cetera, et cetera. So we spent a lot of time doing that in the first year. It got us into a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. But the first store was kind of in a sketchy area. Sometimes at night it got a little crazy, you know. Um, so uh, me and the wifey gave her a little hand at training a dog who became a security dog for the house, okay? But uh, that's one of the things you want to do is consider security for your smoke shop. Here was our trainer trying to train the dog to bark. Hmm. My final three videos all surround community events, us doing certain things to gain more rapport with customers, and as you will see, becoming just this epic family-oriented cool smoke shop. You know what? It worked and then it backfired. It backfired because eventually, you know, events that have tents out front and um, uh, storefront things, that a lot of times you can piss off your neighbors, you can piss off people in the neighborhood, you can also piss off your city council people. So the city council person passed by, she saw a girl twerking out there, she called the mayor in this small town, the mayor then called the chief of his police, the police showed up with three cop cars, came all through the smoke shop sniffing for things they weren't gonna find, and it backfired on us. But what we did learn is, is that number one, doing it the correct way in our first year would have been awesome, but at the same time, we wouldn't have gotten these fucking epic ass, cool ass things, man. So we're happy that we were able to do it while we could, pull the grills up in front of the, the, the store, cook, uh, you know, have the DJs blast in the music. But now we do it, but we don't do it at that store because we got in a lot of trouble and we do it a lot smarter, you know. So at any rate, check out these last few clips and then we will be back to say bye bye. So that was one event. This is another one right back to back here, but uh, it didn't take much for us to basically just, you know, spend a couple hundred bucks on some meat and a couple hundred bucks on a DJ and get it in. But it was awesome because it led to our, one of our unique value propositions, which is smoke is at the center of a lot of different things, whether it's entertainment, music, business, um, you know, your friends, your family, I mean, smoke is there. <laughs>
Yo, so looking back, it's hard to believe that all that happened within our first year. You could think about it like this. Basically, we um, started and opened up that shop in February 2018. By Cinco de Mayo, we were already throwing a, a big, huge Cinco de Mayo party. Um, pop-ups throughout the summer, pop-up shops where we invited people in. Multiple DJs have spun at our, all of our shops. Um, food, friends, fun. We just do it smarter today, but we learned a lot. And so just want to show you some of the things that happen at our smoke shop and hopefully we can show you how to do the same thing. At any rate, Brandon Johnson, your 404 smoke shop dude, your smoke shop masterclass guy. So sign up for our course. It is coming soon. Smokeshopmasterclass.com. Peace.